Hi, in this video we are going to study the PN junction or semiconductor diode. Or we can say we are going to study that how depletion layer is formed. We have studied in the previous video that what are P-type and N-type semiconductors and we have presented them also. Now we are going to study the PN junction. Now this name indicates PN that means P-type and N-type semiconductor then junction that means they meet. So now we are going to study that what happens when P-type and N-type semiconductor meet. So this is the representation of P-N junction. This is P-type semiconductor which have acceptor atoms which are denoted like this and holes as majority carriers. Electrons are the minority carriers. This is N-type semiconductor which has donor atom which is represented like this and electrons as majority carriers and holes as minority carriers. This green dot represents the holes and red E shows the electrons. Now what happens when they both meet? Now as we all know there is a process known as diffusion. Now what does diffusion means? We all know that when the food is cooked in kitchen the fragrance of the food moves to the whole house or the whole room and the area. Now why does it happen? This happens because the concentration of the fragrance of the food is very high in the kitchen and it is very low in the rest of the rooms. So what happens? The high concentrated area has much fragrance so all the fragrance try to move towards the low concentration area that means towards the room. That phenomena of movement of particles from high concentration to the lower concentration is diffusion. Now same thing happens here. So the principle of the formation of depletion layer is diffusion process. Now how it happens here is see. The holes are majority in P type and electrons are in majority in N type. So that means the concentration of holes in P type is more in comparison to the region of N type. Similarly, the concentration of electrons is more in N type than in the P type. So what happens? The holes start moving from their high concentration area to the low concentration area. That means the holes of P type start moving towards the N type region. And the electrons from the N type start moving towards the P type. So what we expect? We expect that the all holes will move towards N type and all electrons will move towards P type and they will neutralize each other that means all holes and electrons are going to be disappear that means they all are going to neutralize each other but in actually this does not happen what happens is the electrons and holes which are present near the junction that means the holes and electrons which are present near the boundary they diffuse towards other region that means suppose these holes get diffused in n-type region and these electrons get diffused in p-type region. So what happens? These electrons and holes get neutralized. That means at this region what will happen? The hole and electron pair will neutralize and there will what will what will be left here? These atoms will be left. That means here the acceptor atom and the donor atom will be left. So we can see here that negative charge and positive charge is left here. That means these are uncompensated acceptor ions are left and here uncompensated the donor atoms are left. So these are the charged particles and they are left as it is. So if I show that if the holes and electrons of the nearby atoms of the junction are neutralized what happens is this thing occurs that the region get neutralized now what happens here we can see that this positive charge is seen here so what this positive charge do it repels other holes to move toward that side as we can see that these are the donor atom ions now electrons of these atoms are neutralized by the holes that means this positive charge is left here now this positive charge repels holes to move 
that means now diffusion has stopped because of the repulsion of this charge similarly here the acceptor ions these are negatively charged they will repel electron to pass through the junction that means diffusion of electrons has also stopped so in this way we can explain that actually all holes and electrons does not get neutralized only the holes and electrons which are present near the junction get neutralized so what is this we can see that this region has charge and they have neutralized electrons and holes that means this region is space which is charged so this is space charge region or this region which has depleted our diffusion process is called depletion so two names are there for this area now as we know this is negative and this is positive so what does it make it makes a fictitious ba battery here so this is a battery and as this is a battery over here so what we say that this area is providing some potential barrier to holes and electrons so that they are not diffused so this is a barrier which is formed because of the diffusion of the holes and electrons which are present near the junction and now further diffusion has been depleted because of this region so this is depletion region so this is how p and junction theory is made that how depletion layer is formed now one question that p n junction that means p and n type combine so what happens either p or n type are made very close to each other and this theory happens actually this does not happen that p and n type are just made in contact with each other there are many different techniques with this p n junction are formed now we one technique is like we take melt of p type semiconductor and we can add uh, impurity of n type so if the half crystal suppose we have taken the melt of p type and suppose half crystal is formed and the half is melt i add the impurity of n type what happens the other crystal is formed of n type so this is how p n junction is formed these are not like i have taken one piece of p type semiconductor i have taken the other piece of n type semiconductor and i have just placed them together then this process is not going to form there are special techniques to form p n junction so this is the whole process that how potential barrier or depletion layer is formed in p n junction